So I think I done found like one of the greatest and biggest secrets ever for my car, bro. But if y'all want to know what it is, you got to stay tuned because I'm about to put this intro on. So look, bro, like I said, I think this is like one of the biggest, one of the greatest secrets ever for this car. And it might be the same for any other Honda or any other car, whatever. I don't know, but I can only speak specifically for my car for an automatic V6 coupe with the paddle shifters. So I knew about this for about a week, probably a couple days. I don't know. I wasn't keeping track, but it was just one day I was driving and I just happened to do this. And like, it just caught me off guard. And I was like, damn, bro. Like, where was this at? And like, I tried to go online and like find this out and nobody really talking about it. Maybe, maybe people know about this who had the car for a while or who people who actually been driving their car and learn how to drive it and stuff like that. Maybe y'all know, but I found this out and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other people that don't know about this. And I came to the conclusion that, you know, I should put it out and let people know because I couldn't find this nowhere else. I just happened to do this while I was driving and I was like, damn. And you know, it blew my mind. If you think this car is fun now, wait till you get a hold of this, bro. And if you wanna learn how to do this, you gotta watch the full video. You can't skip nothing. Cause I'm gonna give y'all a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this, man. Because like, like I said, this is gonna blow your mind, bro. Step one, you wanna put the car in sport mode. Step two, turn traction control off. Step three, press the gas pedal and accelerate. Step four, now at this point, the car will already automatically shift to second gear. But what you're gonna do is, as you're accelerating from 10 miles per hour to, or 15 miles per hour, do not go above 20 miles per hour. Like that's, that's what you have to do. Do not go above 20 miles per hour. Remember that. As you're accelerating, before you get to 20 miles per hour, downshift it into first gear. Now, if it doesn't work, just try it again. Just keep doing it. As long as you don't go above 20 miles per hour and you and you continue to accelerate, you'll be able to downshift into first gear. And finally, we're on the last step, step five. It's simple. Smash out, press the throttle, full throttle, send it. Go ahead and do it. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Now, after you downshift into first gear, I think you can take it all the way up to 25 miles per hour. Maybe you can go higher, I don't know, but I've taken it to 25 and it's been pretty good. I would say this is good for road racing. If you're doing like 20 rows, stuff like that, or if you just want to have some fun, a little bit of fun, um, or just have passengers in your car and just catch them off guard with this, you can do this. I'm telling you like this, bro, especially if you got some good tires that's going to hook up, it's going to pull like crazy. I just wanted to share this with y'all because I couldn't find it anywhere online. I couldn't find it nowhere. And I just happened to find it just messing around with the car one day when I was on my way to work. And, you know, here I am telling y'all about this. So if you want to do it, go ahead and try it. I know for sure it's going to work for all 9th Gen Accord Coupe V6s with the automatic transmission, you know, with paddle shifters. Any other Honda with paddle shifters, I don't know how that's going to work out for y'all. Y'all can try these steps too, but I know for sure with the Accord Coupe V6, you can do this. But like I said, I'm gonna give y'all a full example. I'm gonna show y'all some pulls and stuff like that. And I'm gonna downshift into second gear and I'm gonna compare it to, you know, if I downshift it in first gear, I'm gonna see how much of a difference that makes. Y'all just continue to watch this video. And um, if you haven't liked it already, please like this video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. <laughs>
okay. Y'all know I had to add some drip to the key, bro. Like, look at this, man. This is icy, bro. For all my sneakerheads out there, y'all know what this is, man. Of course, this ain't the real thing. You know, sometimes you gotta fake it till you make it. I got this off of Amazon for a couple dollars, man. Cause I just, I needed something to put on the key just to like get the key a little bit more touch to a little bit more drip. But I just want to tell y'all about that, man. Cause this shit is fire, bro. If you want the link, you know, just hit me up in the comments and you know, I'll send it over your way. But can we just take a moment and appreciate this greatness right here? So I call it the Mopar Killer. Pentastar Bully. Giving RTs a run for their money. Any V6 Dodger Chrysler that want it, they can get it. So I'm about to replace the brake lights with these LEDs right here. These are red. As you can see right there, it says right there. Um, I just need the brake lights to be a little bit brighter. After I put these in, I'll pretty much be full LEDs on the outside. I'll just need to do the high beams and then the actual tail lights, and then we'd be good with this. And then I could just go ahead on the inside, start doing like the dome lights and stuff like that, but I ain't really too worried about the lights. I already got the headlights and then the fog lights LED, so that was like my main concern, so we good with that, and we just about to put these in, and you know, make the back pop a little bit more. That's the second one. So I just put the brake lights in. I'm about to show y'all what they looking like. They looking pretty clean now. I don't know if y'all be able to tell how they looking on camera, but in person they look better than the stock bulbs. But yeah, let's check them out. If you made it this far into the video and you haven't liked it, please like it. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe for real, man. I'm at 868 subscribers, probably 870 by the time you see this video. I don't know. Let's see if y'all can give me to a thousand before or by the end of October. If y'all can do that at a thousand subs, I will announce a giveaway. But y'all got to stay tuned. You know, y'all got to keep watching my videos. Give me to a thousand so y'all can hear what the giveaway is going to be. And you got to find out what the rules are. But Hey, that's enough of that, man. That's another thing for another video. These next few clips you're about to see, these was recorded last night. These are the pulls that I said I was going to do from first gear and second gear, and I was going to do a comparison. So make sure you stay tuned. Watch these. Grab your popcorn. Take a seat. All that. Your stopwatch, your timer, whatever you got to do. I'm going to stop talking. Just check it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm.